do. Where? Everywhere. Greetings from our slightly prettier RV. <laughs> we have spent the last week taking down all the cabinets and making them just beautiful. So we're gonna teach you how to paint RV cabinets and 10 not so easy tips, but it's worth it. <laughs> the first step is the prep. Prep, yes. There's so a lot that goes into this. There's a lot of prep stages, but we'll cover them and break them down to little steps. So the first thing you wanna do is take down all the uh, doors and all of the drawers, take them out. They have little slots on the side, so you can pop those out, um, take them all out, and then remove all the existing hardware and hinges. One. I've actually put post-it notes and everything in here because we want to make sure that all the screws line back up with the hinges here and that the uh, doors close properly. Make sure you grab a little jar or a cup for all your screws and hardware. The next step you want to take is to get those hinges and those screws and if you like us we want to spray them matte black to fit with our theme and so we took those apart and we sprayed those matte black with some, some generic um, spray paint and with the screws which can be tr tricky if you stick those in a piece of cardboard they all stand up nicely for you can just spray them real quick and let them dry. Our screws. Pro tip, just jab them in a box. If you're like us and you actually want them to look beautiful, you will <laughs> ditch the existing hardware because I am pretty sure that the handles are not going to be gorgeous. This would save you a lot of stress if you decided to just live with it. And we've seen some that look okay doing that, but I'm not settling for that. So we picked out some gorgeous hardware, but it does present some extra steps. Yeah, Morgan had to choose hardware that was bigger and so we the holes that we have in our existing cabinets are three inches and the new hardware is five inches so if you do get bigger handles you're gonna get some spackle and just fill in those holes and let those dry. If you do fill in those holes for some new hardware you don't want to wait for that spackle to dry before the next step which is essential which is sanding down all the surfaces and roughing them up to make sure that the primer sticks to it. Get it! Now that we've prepped, oh my gosh, this is when it all just becomes this painfully long process, like a million times longer than I ever anticipated. It's the priming step, and we have to do this not once, but twice. You got this? I got this. You sure? No. <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> look how much bigger it looks like. Yeah. Like, take a look. It does look great. <laughs> Can I tell you something? We need two coats of prime. Do you really think so? Yeah. Ran out of room inside. Had to improvise with some boxes. Hope it doesn't rain. Twelve in the morning. How did you How did you learn to do that, sir? Daddy. Yeah, you've been watching Dad do it. Good job. Now comes the rewarding part. You actually get to use the paint that you selected for your cabinets. This is when it starts feeling like a home. I'm not even joking because up until this point, it's like, what the heck? This is not like a house. This does not look good. Should we have done something different? However, this is when it all came together and made it worthwhile. Are you guys excited to paint the RV today? Yeah. Oh, then you're done. What color should we paint it? Whoa! Rack and white. How are we looking? That's a very good question. This is a lot more work than you would think. But I think it looks there really is. good. It looks a lot more airy. 
Are we bright. ready for paint? Let's do it! We're actually, <laughs> we're actually taking a little bit of our old house with us because this was the paint oh. that we used in our kitchen. So sentimental. <laughs> you are much more... I think that I get it done just as well as you. However, I think I get it done in a fraction of the time. Do you agree? No, I don't agree. <laughs> Once you've done all of your painting, just take some time to look at those cabinets and look at those drawers and walk around the RV and look at where those cupboards are and check that the paint is good in all those spots. Just look for any little touch-ups quickly because you don't want to do those later on. You want to get it all done in one go and looking great. We are getting there. All the drawers are done and painted, but we still have to put the handles on. Go away from to dry. Kitchen is all painted. Up here is all painted. You're almost there, I promise, stick with it. Now you're gonna put back on those hinges on all the doors for your cupboards. Our hinges, all sprayed. Next comes your handles, and if you're like us, and Morgan wanted some really beautiful handles that Not were 90s, bigger stock handles, handles. <laughs> Would want you're that. gonna have to re-drill <laughs> all those holes, which can be a painstaking process because RRB, I, I noticed that some of the handles were not completely measured accurately and so yeah. I went through Which and, and measured every single handle and made sure that all the holes fitted and lined up like beautifully. Now you get to see it all come together, you can put those cupboard doors back on, you can push those drawers in, and then you can sit down with a cup of tea and admire your beautiful work. Label everything so we know exactly where they go. It's 10 steps and it seems like a lot, but it's definitely worth it. And if I have one tip for you, just make sure you prep, 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 because it will save you in the long run. Right. Preparation saves perspiration. I've been telling him that since we started dating. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. 10 steps, like you said, it's so worth it because it's really made this little house of ours a home and I'm so excited. And it seems like the other things are just gonna be a breeze compared to this. So let us know in the comments if you have any questions at all. We have been renovating. I think it's gonna be a breeze. So much, I think there's a lot more things that we have to do that you, Morgan has some big ideas for this RV. And so Morgan has the ideas and I have to execute them. Yes. So. Well, I do it too. The but anyway. to Morgan. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much. Let us know below. We've been renovating literally for the last like six months between a house and an RV. So <laughs> we have lots of expertise that we would love to share with you. So just let us know if you have any questions because we are very happy to help. Thank you so much for sticking with us on our journey. We appreciate it so much and we'll see you next week. Cheers. Do you know what's so cool? I can actually reach everything in this house. <laughs> Party in there? Oh, I gotta get used to that. Oh, God. <laughs>